Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to create this bug eye effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So we're going to be creating something like this, a pretty simple effect to pull off, but if you need it to look like there is a bug flying around and have a viewpoint, this is what we're going to be creating. So let's go ahead and get started on this. First things first, I went ahead and imported some footage. I got this off of Envato Elements. It's a great subscription-based service. You pay a monthly fee, and you get an unlimited amount of stock footage. Essentially, I just found uh, a racing drone footage, and you can see that it goes at a pretty good speed, but for this, what we're going to first do is just speed it up a little bit. You want any sort of speed or any clip you use to have a lot of speed because flies, they fly around really quickly. I mean, you can even speed this up to like 300% and you're still going to get a more realistic representation of what a fly might see. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing first. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our effects. We're going to look for a lens distortion effect. We're going to grab that and throw it on. We're going to reverse the curvature here. So we'll go over to our effect controls down to lens distortion curvature. And we're going to reverse it to right around negative 75. And that's going to give it this fish eyed look as the footage goes on. We don't want to go too heavy, otherwise, we won't be able to see anything. So we just want to make it look a little bit rounded near the edges. We're then going to go to Lumetri Color. So if we just search in here for Lumetri Color, um, we can bring that up. Or if you are in the color panel on the right here, you could just use that. Um, there's a lot of them down here under color correction. We're going to drag that on over here and then we can do all of the stuff that we want to. So we're going to go to creative and then we're going to take the shadow tint and bring that up towards red and then the highlight tint and bring that up towards red as well. Not entirely sure if a fly actually sees this color, but that's what's been represented in most videos. So we have to recreate that as well to allow people to understand that. So now we have this red effect. The last thing, we need some distortion here. It's too clean. Usually they have like a hexagonal sort of thing over it, but in Premiere, that's a little bit difficult to create. So we're gonna use a different effect. We're gonna look for an effect called turbulent displacement. So, or turbulent displace. Under video effects, distort turbulent displace. Once you add this on, we're gonna have to render the footage out afterwards. Otherwise, it's just not gonna look good or it's just not going to load as we try to click enter. Um, I'll show you in a second, but we're gonna bring the size down to about five to 10. And you're gonna see that it's gonna put like tiny little squiggles everywhere. And then we just want the amount to remain about the same. We might wanna bring it up or down depending on the effect looks at the end. But overall, this is gonna give it that sort of wavy, uh, unclear vision that we want. To render this out, I'm just gonna go with a really quick one in. I'm gonna click the I button, then go about one second in and click O. Then if we click the enter key, you're gonna see that it'll begin rendering the footage. This, depending on how fast your computer is, may take a few seconds. We have rendered it out and you can see in just this tiny little bit that we've rendered, it is this bug eyed effect that we created. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, throw in the comment section below on our website, adobemasters.net. Hit that subscribe button to see more videos similar to this and on the other Adobe products. Subscribe and I will try to release videos weekly or bi-weekly. Um, so keep your learning going and click that subscribe button. Until next time, everyone, see ya.